Yo, what's up? It's your boy Talks of Turtle, and we're back for another installment of Permanently Painted. Welcome to Permanently Painted. We're coming to you from the Painted Lady Tattoo and Piercing Studio in Parkmore, Santon. And today we're going to be talking about something that may not seem all that serious, but it definitely makes a huge difference in you getting the best tattoo or piercing possible. Yep, that's it. Today we are going to be talking about tips to make your next appointment or booking. So when you're making an appointment or booking, your first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you are going to the right tattoo or piercing studio. Make sure you do your research. Check out tattoo and piercing studios. We have Google. It's really easy to check them out these days. So make sure you're getting someone who's not overcharging you unnecessarily and make sure it's someone who's good prices come with a good product or a good review because you've got to check those reviews out. Make sure that people that have come from that tattoo studio or piercing parlor have got good piercings and tattoos. So go through the Instagram, make sure the tattoos are good. Go through the Instagram and make sure the piercings are straight and not looking all gross and infected. Now what you're going to want to do once you've found your tattoo or piercing studio is check out their bio. So either go onto the Instagram, their Facebook or go onto their website, wherever it is you found them. Find out there should be somewhere that alludes to where they prefer to do their bookings. So for us at The Painted Lady, we prefer to do our bookings on emails, for example. The reason we do them on emails is so that we've got all of your designs together, we've got all your dates together, we've got all the descriptions of your designs together, all the discussions we've had all in one place, and it's really easy for us to then print it from there and make sure that we're getting the, all the bookings in and making sure we don't forget Instagram bookings and Facebook bookings and things like that. Everything goes via email so that we can make sure we've got everything and we don't double book. With places that do tend to use Instagram and Facebook and all sorts of other platforms to book, the reason we don't do it is because we've seen a personal message us on Instagram, then they'll message us on Facebook, then they'll email us from three different email addresses, phone us from theirs, their girlfriends and their mom's phones, SMS us from three different phones, WhatsApp us from another three different phones, and all of these different names and numbers coming at us, we get confused. We think it's a bunch of different people. We think a bunch of people want the same tattoo. We book a bunch of different dates for a whole bunch of different people when it's only one person wanting to come in. So try and keep it to one form of communication. So if you do find yourself a studio that uses many forms of communication, pick your favorite one and stick to it. Now when you're sending in that email with your design of your tattoo, you want to send a picture or a bunch of pictures, either be it the picture that you've drawn up, be it the picture of a design you found on Pinterest or Instagram, or be it just a design that you've got in your head. Now if it's a design that you've got in your head, just write, give us a nice written detailed description of what you're looking for, as well as a couple of different reference pictures of maybe some styles and artworks that maybe encapsulate what you're trying to achieve at the end so that the artist has a better idea of what you're looking for so that they can get a head start on getting your design together. Now if it is a previous, previous design that you maybe found on Instagram or Pinterest or something like that, make sure to let your artist know if you're wanting that exact design or if you're wanting something based around that design, uh, just so that they can decide whether or not they're wanting to do it because a lot of artists don't like to just take other people's designs and tattoo them. Some artists like to add their own flair at least, so give them the opportunity to let you know that as well. Another good thing to add into there is your availability. If you work a Monday to Friday job 9 to 5, you're probably not going to be able to get tattooed between Monday and Friday. So let the tattoo artists know, look, I'm only available on weekends and next weekend I've got little Timmy's birthday on Saturday and Jane's birthday on Sunday, so I'm completely unavailable next weekend, but other than that, I'm pretty much free. So that the artist can already start seeing where they can book you in. It's also going to get you a quicker booking, a closer booking, and more effective communication with the artist. The more back and forth makes it makes for more space for mistakes and things to be forgotten. As well as the more detail that you can give in each email means the closer that we can get to your vision, to your goal, to that dream that you have in, in your head, we can get that on your skin. Now, if you're wanting to come in for piercings, Phone calls can tend to be a little bit more easy because you can say I want to get my earlobes pierced or you can give us an example of what you're wanting to get pierced. We can tell you how much that costs and book you in all at the same time. It's a little bit less of a, a design factor than a tattoo. However, if you don't know the terminology, sending an email works too because then you can send a picture of the, the piercing that you're wanting to get. But please do be advised if you're sending a picture of my ear and you're saying I want that piercing we're going to struggle. So let me know if you want the helix, the forward helix 
the second hole, the first hole. If you don't know the names of them, you can just circle it on, on your phone in that little green or red color and then send that on through to us so we know exactly which piercing you're looking for. And then we can accurately quote you, book you in and get you going and get you pierced up with the right piercing. If you're using the wrong terminology, be careful with that because you might ask for, I want a Prince Albert and then when we ask you to drop your pants, you're gonna be very confused. Make sure you know the terminology that you're wanting to use so that you get the right piercing as well. What you can also send us is a picture of that body part. For example, an industrial piercing, one of those straight bars that go across the top like that. Some people can wear them, some people can't. Unfortunately, the contours of your helix, the contours of the inside of your flat over there, all make a difference as to whether or not you're gonna be able to get that piercing. When you're making the booking for your piercing or tattoo, make sure it is just you and the artist chatting. Don't get your friend to do it, don't get your family members to do it, because we've all played broken telephone in kindergarten and we know that messages tend to get muddled up, mixed up or missed out. And so rather do it yourself so that you make sure your vision is your vision and the artist understands your vision, rather than having someone in the middle who adds their own biases to what they think may or may not look good. We or us is another term that we hear a lot and we don't mind it. We love to get everyone as pierced and tattooed up as we can. However, when you are saying we or us, please let us know how many we's or us there are so that we can accurately book and make sure that we got space it doesn't help you saying we or us and i say sure come on in and i'm thinking two three people and ten people come in for a piercing because unfortunately we need to ensure that we've got enough time to sterilize the booth sterilize the equipment clean everything up ensure that the person has the right amount of time that we're not rushing through the piercing we're not rushing through the markings or anything to make sure that we can get everyone through so just a young recap if you're going to be making your booking stick to one form of communication you want to send in a picture with as much detail as possible, as well as the placement and size that you're wanting to get that image done, as well as your availability so that the tattoo artist can make sure they've got all of that information together. If you're calling in or emailing for piercings, make sure you know what your terminology is. Don't make that mistake. Give us your availability once again, and it helps to send us a picture of the piercing that you're wanting to get, as well as the area that you're wanting to get it so that we can ensure that we are giving you the right piercing and that we are able to actually put the piercing there. Again, don't make bookings for friends and family, make bookings for yourself. And then if you are phoning in or emailing for a group of people, ensure to let your artists know how many people that is going to be. If any of these videos have helped you or given you just a little bit of insight on uh, making your processes a little bit easier around tattoos and piercings, give us a like, give us a subscribe, whatever it is, the platform that you're on. I know Instagram, YouTube, Facebook will have different things. And hit that share button if you think someone else will benefit from these videos too. We hope to see you soon. Stay safe.